Alright, hey guys, um, Terrible Dev here, and then before we get started, um, here's my GitHub. So if you guys want to follow me, you can follow me. Um, if you want to look at all the repo, I meant all the commands, they're right here. You can start the repo if you want. And yeah, let's get started. So in this video, I'm going to be making an unban command. I'm going to be making it better than the previous one, okay? This one's just going to be better, so let's get started. So we're going to say cons um, message embed it does require discord.js okay and then module .forge and then unban um, and then run sync client message types okay so if you're following along and your command handler is different this is where we get started okay so first we're gonna so this time since the user isn't in the guild you have to use their ID and um, fetch them okay so people keep asking me oh can you fake it so you mention a user um, you can do that but you're gonna have to slice the like there's no point of doing that because basically the user is in the guild so how are you gonna mention them people make no sense but anyway so we're gonna say const member equals await client.users.fetch and then r0 okay so we're gonna fetch the user and then we're gonna add a catch here just in case so we're gonna say console.error and um should I do it that way Hmm. I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. You have to add a wait here because it's fetch. Um, here, I'll make it better for you guys. So I'll do let member right here. And then we're just going to say this. Then we're going to run a try catch here. So I'm going to say try. Okay, and catch. E. E. I'm going to say constant dot love. E. And then return uh, message dot channel. Let's send an error occurred. Okay. And then so we're gonna say member equals. So and then we're gonna say we're gonna remove this. So we're gonna say if if there is no member, um, we're gonna return Channel and uh, send. Please enter a user's ID to a man. So then dot send and and dot delete. Timeout. Timeout. Uh, five thousand, which is five seconds. All right. So I guess we can try that now. So let me just bring up this one. So I'm gonna say n unban one two three four, and then as you can see right here, it tells you an error occurred because that is an unknown member. Okay, so now if I enter a valid user like myself, click on valid ID. So if I come here, and then if I enter a valid ID, okay, copy ID. As you can see, it's just gonna, just gonna return. Not, it's just gonna return LOL. Okay, it's gonna return nothing. LOL is because um, because <laughs> I have something in the command handler that says that. So sorry about that. But yeah, as you can see, it's gonna just say that the user is there. Okay. Um, don't worry about this. This will not show up in yours. Okay, it's just I have something set up different. Um. All right. So now. We're gonna get started, so we're gonna say so we're already checking that there's no member. So if I go like m unban, an error occurred. You wanna know why it's saying that? Because we're not mentioning the user. We're not giving the user, so we're saying r zero. There's no r zero. Okay. So I guess we can do that here. I guess we can say this before this. So we're gonna say if r zero. If there's no r zero. Please enter yours. We also can check if 
message dot member dot has permission um ban ban members return message dot channel dot send you are missing ban members permission okay so let's remove that all right so now this is where we get started so we're gonna we're gonna set a reason because when you unban a member you can give it a reason so we're gonna say cons reason equals args one and then args dot slice we're running the turn over here slice one dot join and then if there is no args one we're gonna say no reason so what this is doing right here so let's just define a basic array. So let's say cons array equals. So let's say this is the ID one two three four, and this this is args basically. This is how args is, and then the message we send. Let's say we send a message hello world. It'll be broken up to like this hello, and then world. Okay. So basically, what we're saying here, if this right here, args one, exists. If this exists, we're gonna do we're gonna slice this part and we're gonna join these to say to return as hello world. That's what reason will equal. And if that doesn't exist, if this doesn't exist, we're gonna say no reason. That's basically what it's doing right there. And then we're gonna define an embed, so const embed equals new message embed. Okay, then we can dot set footer. Okay, so we're gonna say a, a message dot alter dot tag. The reason why I'm setting a footer here is because we're going to define the bed twice. Like, we're going to change the title. We're going to do it twice, and they're both going to have the same footer. Okay, so that's how I'm doing this. And then we're going to do message.alter.id. Okay. And then we can say message.alter, not alter, alter.display avatar URL, dynamic. So what this is doing here is uh, it's showing the user's avatar and it's setting a dynamic true. So that means if they have a GIF, it's going to show the GIF. Okay. And then this is where we fetch the bands. So we're going to fetch the bands here. So I'm going to say a message side build dot fetch bands. Not band, bands. <laughs> so this is going to promise. So we're going to say dot den. So we say dot then bands. You can put whatever you want here, but I'm just gonna define it. I'm gonna say ban. Cons ban. And then we're gonna I'm gonna define user. So this is gonna be we're gonna find the so band is an array. So we're gonna check if and then we're gonna define user to find something in the array. So say so we're gonna say const user equals bands dot find. So band. You can put whatever you want in here, but I'm doing band. So we say band dot user dot id because it returns an array and then each array has an object of the user. It has it's like an object. It has reason, then it has user. So it's like this. Um, so it's like this, and then it's reason. So no, sometimes it's no, and then it's um, user. I don't know. I'm just giving you an example. Id. Of one two three four. So this is how it is. Like it's set up like this. The reason why there's an error is because I'm not finding an object correctly. So yeah, that's how it returns it. Okay. So we're gonna say band that user ID equals to member that ID. So member is this member that ID. Okay. And then so user would return undefined if there's if the user isn't banned. But if the user isn't banned, it's going to return undefined. And but if there is a user, it's going to return a user. So we're going to say if user console dot log user, okay. Else console dot log not banned, okay. I'm just going to do that for now. So right here, we're going to run a, we're going to put a catch here too because yeah, in case this fails or if there's an error. So console dot log e and then we're going to say message dot channel dot send and an error has occurred ok 
Okay, so we're putting this catch right here after the den. Okay, so just so you guys are, are aware. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna do this now. I'm gonna show you guys. So let's say if I ban um temper count. Okay, so copy. I'm gonna copy the ID of this user just so I remember it. And I'm gonna let the user type in chat. Just so I don't. It's just to make my life easier. Okay, boom. All right, now. So now let's do this. So M unban. And as you can see, it's gonna log not ban. Okay. It's gonna log this right here because the user in the ban. So now let me ban this user. So ban. Now if I do M unban, you're gonna see, see, it returns the reason. No, because there was no reason given. It's gonna return the user object. So user.id and username is not a bot and so on. Okay. All right. So this is where we're going to, um, so we're going to unban the user here, but first we're going to set a title or I mean, we're going to, um, edit the embed being defined up here. So set title, uh, we're going to run it back. We're going to put back this here. So successfully. Um, unban um, so user dot user dot tag you can't put a you can't mention a user in a title so dot set color we can do this one to green because it was successful okay we can add a field so we can set the user's ID um, so user dot user dot ID true true means inline true like it's gonna be on the same line if I so I'll show you right here. So user tag and user dot user dot tag. It's true. So what does mean inline true? So that means that both of these are gonna be in the same line, okay? So we're gonna um get the ban reason. So the reason why the user was banned. So ban reason. This is gonna be user dot reason. Okay. So then now I'm going to show you guys like uh, what it returns. So if I do M unban, oh, I don't send anything. <laughs> Message that channel, channel dot send, and then, okay. So if I do M unban, you're going to see the reason is no, because I didn't give a reason when I banned the user, okay? So I'll just clear this. All right, so we're going to run a turn over here, okay? So let's say does not equal to no. Okay. We're gonna do um so if it's not equal to no, so meaning it's not no and there is a reason, we're gonna say user dot reason. Else, if it is no, we're gonna say there is no reason. Okay, so I'll show you guys this too. If I just do M1 as the bottom line. Yeah. See, no reason. No, and then now it's no reason. Okay. And we also can get the reason why the user was banned, oh, unbanned. So why the moderator unbanned that user. So I'm gonna say unban for reason, um, reason. So I'm unbanned. So as you can see, it says no reason here, simply because up here, when we define a reason, we put no reason. So, so let's do a hello world. As you can see, unbanned reason, hello world. All right, so this is where we unban the user now. So we're gonna say, we're gonna delete this right now. So we're gonna say message.guild.members.unban the user.user.id. Okay, we're gonna unban the user and then we're gonna, def we're gonna put a reason here. So sometimes reason, like the reason is an object like with banning the user but when in this case it's a string so you only have to put a reason you don't have to put the brackets or yeah okay and then then so we're, we're going to unban the user first and then and then we're going to send a uh, message saying so in that okay all right so that should be working fine so let's do it and unban hello world and then boom Successfully unban temp account, blah blah blah. And then if I try to unban them, 
it's not gonna set anything. It's gonna console log not bin. Okay, so let's let's do this part. So we're gonna say embed. Oops, not embed. Dot set title. User user uh, member dot tag. The reason why we put a member here and not user is because user is undefined. So this is just gonna return undefined. So when we're doing member, when we fetch the member, okay. So this is gonna be member dot tag. Um, isn't oops isn't bin. And then we're gonna set color. In this case, I guess we can do red because this the user is embed. Oops, ff zero zero. So we can. That's right, right? Yes. And then we're going to do message.channel. Let's send uh, embed. All right, so I think that's the command. So let's do it. And then user is embed. Boom. And then boom. So yeah, that's way better than the other command I've had. The other unbanned command. So my next video is going to be um, where you fetch other users that are banned. So yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe if you liked it, and dislike if you disliked it. And yeah, bye bye.